Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, I'm here to tell you a story. A lullaby. A chain of events. So, um, Dragon Age 3, or Dragon Age Mutual, whatever the fuck you want to call it, came out a couple days ago. And while I myself did not purchase the game, my brother did. And he bought it yesterday. Finally got around to go, go ahead and play it today. And, uh, well, let me set up the scene here. For those of you who played the first two Dragon Age games, you know when you played the first Dragon Age, then you played the second Dragon Age, for those of you who were actually able to stomach going through the second Dragon Age game, is that, you know, you could, like, what what you did in the first game, you can import to the second game. Well, it turns out, you can't really do that with the third one, because we both play the games on PS, on PS3. So if you're okay, we'll just pop in the new game, and hey, what we did in the first two games, we'll transfer over to the to the third game, and fuck no. So apparently, EA, fuckheads, decided to uh, go ahead and do away with that, and no matter what you did in the first two games, no matter what system you play on the game, on those games, means absolutely fucking shit when you get to the third game. What you can do is go to their newly beta site, Dragon Age Keep, which I guess they kind of discussed this, like, a, a while back, but, you know, I don't really go looking for this kind of shit on the I don't know. And, you know, turns out you go to Dragon and you pick and choose what you might have done in the first two games, and that will affect the... St and then you can import that or export it, whatever you want to call it, to, to Dragon Age Inquisition and go from there. Well, that shit didn't work for me. Or my brother. We, we both tried it. Apparently, you have to make an orders account, which we reluctantly did, and like, we, we both hate ourselves for that, and we made one. And so we went and went ahead with that, and did all the shit you're supposed to do, and it still would not fucking work! We even went to the site and said, yes, we do have a PSN account. Nothing. This shit would not work what so mother fucking ever. I know there's some people there who probably got to work. So I know some of you are probably sitting going, well, I got to work, so blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear it. Right? This is really not something they should have done in the first place. And this is just EA putting more bullshit in their fucking games. And I just can't believe what happened with this shit. I'm just so fucking pissed right now. And I felt so bad. I felt so bad for my brother that I gave him $60 and I bought the game from him. You know, I, I, so now I own the fucking game, which I didn't really want in the first place. I was going to wait for him to play it, and then I went ahead and played it. So now I'm stuck with the fucking game, because we couldn't get this shit. I felt bad, and I said, look, here, I'll give you $6, I'll buy the game from you, and you can just pretend this shit didn't work. What the really sad part of it was, is the anticipation for the game. He played through Dragon Age 1 and 2, so he could, like, get the story he wants, and then put it over to the new one, and turns out he wasted all that time for nothing because it doesn't matter how much fucking time you spend on playing the other game. It's complete and utter bullshit, and can't believe this shit happened. Spent hours trying to get this shit done, and it's just a fucking mess of just nothing working, and it's annoying as hell. You can go ahead and pop in the game, and it has some default setting to which, you know... You can go ahead, and it, it, it makes up the story. It just There's a default story that it's stuck with that will carry over into this game. So if you want to go ahead and do it that way, it's fine. You can just pop in and play it as well if you want. But if you wanted to have all all that shit you did matter and try to customize the new, st the, the new story to what you had before, you have to go through, I don't know, all this shit. And my guess is it only works 50-50. I don't know. I could not get this shit to work. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But either way, it's just complete bullshit and just an unnecessary strategy that's going to frustrate a lot of fucking gamers who eventually played the first two. Now, if, you're, if you haven't played the first two and you're going into this one, I guess it's not a problem. But for those of us who've been fans since the beginning and kind of liked what we did in the first two games and went on to the new one and just found out that everything you did means absolutely fucking dick, well, that is bullshit, and I can't fucking believe I had to deal with this shit, so, you know, fuck you, EA, stop trying to make everything so fucking difficult, forcing Origin on, like, the masses or whatever, it's just as bad as forcing you to have a Google Plus account to YouTube, which I guess everybody rented about too, so, <laughs> I'm 
I'm going hysterical. It's like, I just don't know what I can do anymore. It's like, if you have one, if you want one thing, oh, you have to do this, and this, that, and other thing. It's just fucking bullshit, and, you know, it's just, you know, fuck it. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. But, you know, play the game at your own risk, or whatever. I, I would I would go ahead and say, don't fucking buy this game if they're going to pull this shit. Fuck this. Fuck EA. I'm stuck with a bullshit game that I can't return because the store I bought it from has a no return policy if you already opened the case. It's like, oh, you can exchange it for the same one. But that doesn't fix the problem, does it? <sighs> Should I get it off my chest? Just, ah. Uh, the fuck, games? Seriously? Fucking seriously? You know what I didn't have a problem with this game with? You know, you know who I don't have a problem with this game right now? A problem with this kind of shit right now? Nintendo! You know the company everybody's shitting over, saying it is irrelevant, but you know what? When I got Bayonetta 2, do you know what happened when I put Bayonetta 2 in the system? It fucking played! Straight to the fucking game! You know what other game did that? Hyrule Warriors! Plugged it in! Got to play! Mario Kart! Plugged it in! Got to play! Just put it in there! Mario 3D World! Okay, I downloaded that one, but still! Got to play! Whatever fucking game I put in my Nintendo system, guess what? It played! I didn't have to sign on to this, log on to this, make an account for this. I just put the fucking disc in, and it played. And that's the shit that Nintendo allows you to do on the Wii U, but not the shit that the PS3 doesn't let you do anymore, the PS4 doesn't let you do anymore, the Xbox, this, 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 fuck all of this shit! Why can't I just put the game in, and y'all wanna sit there and talk about, oh, Nintendo shit, Nintendo shit? Well, you know what? You know what? Unless they let, at least they let you play your fucking games. Can anybody else say that right now? No.